Hello everyone, my name is Kirkwood Hines. I'm an applications engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And today I'd like to show you two different methods for creating detailed views in SolidWorks Composer. So the first one's going to create a pixel-based image. And then the second one, we're going to create a vector-based image. So it can be scaled infinitely and it's not going to lose any of its resolution. So we'll start with the pixel-based detailed view. And we create this using the digger tool. So if you haven't worked with this, uh, it's pretty easy to set up. I've just turned it on from my home tab and I can set the point of interest uh, with this tool down here, the little cross. I can just left click on that holding my mouse button and drag it to the center of interest I want to take a snapshot of. So right here over these two screws. So once that's in position, um, I can change my settings adjust to say the zoom setting change the radius of my detail view that I'm going to be taking um, and adjust the level of zoom I have over here with this right slider. So once that's set up I can just hit capture picture in 2D image and it's just going to take a snapshot and place it on my uh, viewport as an actor. I can see it over here in my collaboration tab it's just created a 2D image uh, that I can turn off just like any other actor or adjust the properties of. So you may notice that my labels now look a little bit blurry. Um, this is because this is a pixel based image and the resolution on this snapshot is driven by the settings I have in my high resolution image workbench. So if I wanted this to appear a little bit more crisp, a little bit cleaner, I could crank up the number of pixels I have uh, set up over here for building my high resolution images. All right, so the second method we're going to check out is creating these detail views as vector based images. Uh, this is really nice again because with a vector based image I can scale it infinitely and not lose any of my resolution. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn off this pixel based image and start up my technical illustration workbench or workshop. So from here, I'm going to turn on detail view, and this will give me a preview um, of the area I'm going to capture in this detail view. So I can just position it over those two screws I'm trying to show, um, adjust the size, and once I have that set, I can just hit create. And just like that digger tool, it's going to create a snapshot of that area. Now you may notice that my labels are appearing a little bit large. So creating these detail views works a little bit different than say uh, that image I did with the digger tool. So I may want to decrease the size of those labels. So I'll just do that really quick. Activate the properties for both of those. And adjust the size. So once that's done I can just delete this one and take another detail view. It's going to remember the position of that snapshot. I'll hit create again and that looks a little bit better and remember it's a vector based image so it doesn't matter how large I make that snapshot um, it's gonna stay uh, nice and crisp so I'm done with my workbench so I can just close out of that and update the view I have in Composer so I hope you found this video useful for more tricks and tips like this please subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel Thank you for watching.